Lesson 1.10, Identify and Write Zero. In this lesson, we learn the concept of zero as none. We write the number zero and the word zero right and left-handed. Here we have some logs, and this log has one, two turtles. Two. This log has one turtle. One. This log has none. There's not any. There are zero turtles. This five frame has no counters. There are none. There are zero counters. This five frame has one, two, three, four, five counters, and it's full. If the five frame is empty, it has no counters. It has zero counters, none, not any. The five frame is full with counters for the number five. We can trace with our finger for right-handed students who write like this. We start at the top, we go around away from our hand, then we pull it towards our hand back up to the top. Let's try it again. We start up here, we go around away from our hand, then back towards our hand back up to the top. For the left-handed students, we start at the top, we go away from our hand around, back towards our hand, and then up to the top. Let's try it again. We start up here, we go away from our hand, back towards our hand, and back up to the top. That's the number zero. We can write it with our right hand. We hold the pencil like this. We start at the top, we go away from our hand, then back towards our hand and around to the top. It looks like a stretched out circle, doesn't it? Like a skinny stretched out circle. Let's try it again with our right hand. We go around away from our hand, then back towards our hand, then back up to the top. When we write the number zero. We start here on this middle dotted line for the lowercase z. We come towards our hand. We come down at a slant away from our hand, then back towards our hand. That's the Z. For the E, we come towards our hand and we go up and around. For the R, we start here. We come down and bounce around and stop right there. And for the lowercase o, we make it just like we did the zero, except we start here and we come around. We wrote the number zero and the word zero. For the left-handed students who hold their pencil like this, we start at the top for the number zero. We go down around away from our hand, then back towards our hand and back up to the top. Let's try it again. We go down away from our hand, then back towards our hand and back up to the top. For the word zero, we can write it just like the right-handed students, except we'll do our O a little differently. We can start here, we go across, come down on a slant towards our hand, and then back out. For the E, we start here, we go away, and then up and around. For the R, we start here, and we come down and bounce around. And for the O, we start here, go away from our hand, come around, and then back up again zero. We wrote the number zero and the word zero. Here we need to count the turtles and write the number. On this log I see one, two, three turtles. There are three turtles on that log. We can write the number three Can you count the number of turtles on this log? There's none. There's not any. And the number we use when there are none is zero. There are zero turtles on that log. Zero is not a counting number. When we count, we start at one. To count these red squares, we start with one, then two, three, four, five. 
We don't start with zero, we start with one when we count objects. Here we have some cars. Here there are three cars, one, two, three, three blue cars. Here there are two cars, one, two, two green cars. Here is one car, one yellow car, and here there are none. There's not any. There are zero cars. If you look here, we have three cars and two is one fewer. It's one less than three. If you look here, one is one less than two. It's one fewer than two. And zero is one fewer than one. To show zero, we can show no objects. We can also show a counter and take it away. We can say that we have a counter, like a car, and if we take it away, now we have zero. We can also write the number zero, and we can write the word zero to show zero. Zero is the number we use when we have none. Our next lesson is going to be in chapter two, which is about comparing numbers to five. We're going to talk about same numbers. I hope you have a really great day, and I hope you'll join me for next time. Bye.